If you want to learn how to run a presentation on a second Mac and bring that into Ecamm, then watch this video. Hi, Gary Cruz with AmazeStudios.com here. If you're new to my channel, I do tutorials on live streaming, and most recently I've been doing tutorials with Ecamm Live. Switching over to my second Mac, let me just point at it with my Mac here. I have iPhone connected to Ecamm Live right here via Epoch Cam. And so I'm using that as a second camera. And I can show, you can see that Ecamm Live is running on this laptop, which is a MacBook Pro. And then I have a 5K iMac over here that is going to serve as the presentation screen for Keynote. So if we take a look at the screen, this is actually coming through NDI. And if you don't have NDI installed, you'll need to install NDI tools from NDI TV. And then you'll get an app called NDI Scan Converter that runs on a Mac and from there, you can then present whatever screen you want, either the desktop or a specific uh, screen. Let's say it's Keynote, for example. And you can see now it's just showing Keynote. But let me go ahead and just show the desktop. So the reason why I'm making this is Frank posted a, a request here to create a tutorial on how to connect a second Mac to run presentations, preferably using NDI Scan Converter. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that both computers are on the same network. So now that you have both computers on the same network, you install NDI tools. So once you've got it connected, I'm going to go ahead and create a new scene. And so I have a new scene here. And from here, I can select the iMac. You can see that there's iMac here. And there comes, there's my screen. And if I wanted to add a camera, I simply select the camera that I want. And then if I wanted to do this with picture in picture, I'm going to highlight the picture in picture here. And there we go. So now I've got my desktop, which is this one coming into Ecamm Live as an additional source here called New Scene. And I can switch this back and forth. So then if I wanted to have me full screen and then the Mac as a secondary screen here as a picture in picture, I can then resize that accordingly and move it around the screen wherever I need it. All right, so here's the other thing. So let's actually show Keynote working in on this. All right, so let me go ahead and switch this back over. And then let's go to my Mac here. So I'm going to go to my Mac, my iMac. I've got two Macs here, so I'm going to be pretty specific. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and tab over to Keynote. So I've got Keynote loaded. And let's just go ahead and just load a presentation that I have here. This is kind of using Zoom and Skype. I think this is a previous presentation. And then when I make this full screen, uh, let's go ahead and do this in present mode. Press play. Okay. And then if I switch back over to my new scene that I've created, I can then move this accordingly right here. And so I can talk about the presentation. So I'll be controlling the presentation on, on this Mac and then any changes that I have on this Mac will then show up on, oops, let's do this. Let's go back to presentation. So click on play. So here's an example. I can go ahead and, and parse through this, talking about the differences between using Zoom. And then uh, here's an example of using Zoom uh, or using a switcher like Ecamm Live with with Zoom, right? And if I wanted to go full screen, all I have to do is just create a scene called iMac, and I can switch over to that. And if I wanted to go back to picture in picture, I have another scene here that I've selected that has the picture in picture. So as I continue to show the presentation, I can go ahead and just parse through the pages by using the space bar. All right, so the review, I've got a MacBook Pro that's running Ecamm Live. You can see that on the screen here. Then I've got a separate Mac right 
I got a separate Mac here that's running Keynote or whatever you want to show. And since it's using NDI, NDI just simply shows up as a separate source here. If I switch over to the uh, desktop view, you can see the different sources that are available to me, right? So I can either do a split screen like this. I can add the, uh, I can remove that. I can go to the Mac itself. Uh, so I have multiple options here, or even if I needed to bring in a guest and talk about this presentation, you can do that too. So in a nutshell, it's pretty easy to bring in a second Mac as long as you have NDI running on your network. You're in the same network. I'm doing this over Ethernet, but this is also working over Wi-Fi as well with a little latency. And uh, that's how you can bring in a separate Mac to Ecamm Live using NDI. So if you found that useful, hit that like button and consider subscribing if you're interested in learning about more about uh, streaming in general or some more Ecamm tips and hit that notification on the way out. Thanks for watching. Yeah.